Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. And in this vlog, I'm going to continue with my USMLE Step 1 preparation. And since I've been studying in the same place every day for the last month or so, I need a change in the environment and I think I'm going to go to the library for some time. And in the morning, I'm just listening to some music and making my morning tea. I switched from coffee to tea in the morning because caffeine elevates cortisol secretion and it is also related to increased levels of stress. And you can read the article right here. So I'm just going to enjoy my morning breakfast and go to my desk to start studying. Hi everyone, if you are new to the channel, my name is Sudhar, I am a medical intern here in India and currently I am studying for the USMD Step 1 exam and for that in the morning session I am going to start with some U world questions and then move on to the psychiatry vlog from the first aid and so yeah let's go and start studying. enough your world for right now and maybe I'll do some questions at the end of the day and uh, now I'll focus on uh, the first aid and the psychiatry portion the main thing that I want to focus in psychiatry is to be able to diagnose the uh, disorders based on the time span of the uh, symptoms that they give us and uh, it's a little difficult to remember all of them, but uh, I think I'll get it done over some period of time. I took a nap after lunch and now I'm gonna go to the library and study there after I finish my coffee.
Hi guys, so I'm back home. Yeah, they told me that I couldn't sit in the library because uh, there was no water. So I told them that I have my own water. And then they told me that there's no electricity. And yeah, I could see the fans and lights working perfectly. But I guess it's just that they wanted to go home early. And they just told me to go away. And yeah, I don't know why they opened a library which is of two floors with new tables and new books and no one can use it. Anyway, so I did what any sane person would do. I went to Starbucks. And got myself a drink. So I'm gonna enjoy this, cool down a little bit and then get back to studying because I am not gonna waste more time on And also something very interesting came up in my question solving session in the morning and in that the patient had a uh, hypoxia and uh, he was a COPD patient which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and in that uh, supplemental oxygen is uh, contraindicated and it's because that uh, supplemental oxygen can cause uh, further CO2 retention and cause uh, lethargy and uh, confusion and this is called oxygen induced hypercapnia it's mainly because of uh, ventilation perfusion mismatch because uh, when there is hypoxia there is shunting of blood supply from the less ventilated areas to the more ventilated areas and when we give supplemental oxygen the less ventilated areas have higher uh, oxygen content which reverses the vasoconstriction and uh, leads to more CO2 uh, retention Okay, and I'm going to get back to studying and for this session I'm going to do endocrinology and uh, from the first aid so yeah that's it let's begin and that's it for first aid for today I'm going to do some sketchy micro and sketchy form and uh, yeah and yeah that's it I'm done studying for the day I'm gonna take a bath and have dinner then maybe do something, maybe go meet a friend and yeah It's time to close everything Do you want to know what happened? What me? happened in the library? What happened, yaar? They told me to go home. Why? <laughs> because they said there's no water. No water for what? For, in the for drinking. So, the... so I said that I have my own water bottle. Ah. So, then what did you say? What? I don't have electricity. So, what is the relationship between water and electricity? No, I was like, I'm going to start. So? I'm going to It's a very absurd thing I've ever heard. I can't do anything. There is no hope left.